I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Les Zaliski. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? Doing great. Doing it's great. a great pleasure to connect with you, Les, also known as Les Zaldor. What part of the world are you in right now? I'm in Detroit, in the metro Detroit area. Oh, Michigan. Sweet. sweet. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Uh, I think you got me via podcasting and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about your podcast. Uh, I started podcasting back in 2004. Wow. Uh, it was 2000, 2005, actually, end of 2004. Hats early 2005. off. Hats off, my yeah, friends. Hats off. I've been doing it for almost 13 years and uh, started as a music podcast. Did it for about uh, maybe in nine years as a music podcast. And then I kind of slacked off and went to just an audio blog for the last few years um did a couple years as a live uh audio on a radio station help co-found called tap detroit Hmm. and uh, that's pretty much about it i mean i've I've been i've been to a couple i've been to a one podcaster uh convention back in ontario california back in 2007 met a lot of podcasters there yeah are you going to um, PodFest or PodFest 2018 in Florida? Are you even thinking of it? I'd like to. That'd be cool. Yeah, where yeah. where is exactly is it? Is it in? Uh, Orlando. Yeah, Orlando. Orlando, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Really great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you're there, well, we'll definitely connect because it'll be my pleasure to be there as well. I was there in 2017. I loved the family model, the family knit. The, mm-hmm. It was cool. Yeah, it was in like conference Um like you know that uh staggering from room to room get the information it was really cool nice big pl- big plug for podfest 2018 right <laughs> right Sounds there like I'll, I'll check it out yeah 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 most definitely well who did you learn the skill of podcasting from back in the day pretty much self-taught i uh read about it in back in the day uh back in 2004 there was a, a wired magazine article with adam curry and uh, kind of read about podcasting from there. And at first I thought, it sounds like it's an Apple iPod thing only, that people could only use it, listen to it with Apple iPods. And at the time I didn't have an iPod or anything Apple at all. And then I learned it was, no, it was just about MP3s and RSS and getting the the MP3s out via RSS uh, transmission. So, or methods. So I learned up about that, read up about it, how to get a start in RSS and how to use a, 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 a RSS reader and how to use it, make the RSS feed. Mm-hmm. I had already been blogging since about 2000. So I already had a website set up. I already had a, a website with, with stuff that I'd done for blogs and stuff like that. So I didn't need to worry about learning all that stuff. I've been doing that for about four years prior. So I just started learning how to do it. And I got myself a, a recording software, Audacity. I think I used it the, for, at the beginning wow. on my PC and recorded it on that. And then uh, kind of went from there. And I learned uh, about all the pod safe music back then. And I did, uh, when, I, when I first started out doing my music podcast, I thought, I wonder if I could interview artists and stuff like that. So I said, I've always wanted to interview artists that I've been following for a long time ago. I mean, one of the bands I used to, used to I, I still do, love to this day, but it was back in the 80s, a band called uh, um, <laughs> Pursuit of Happiness hmm. is the name of the band. And I thought, thought maybe I could inter- interview the, the lead singer of the band, Mo Berg. So I reached out to him. And he had no problem with that. And we did a conversation uh, about 45 minutes to a half hour, a half hour wow. to 45 minutes on, on my podcast. And this is the guy that I listened to back when I was in high school. I had his cassette on my, my car, my former first car. I was listening to that. That's his song. I actually have it on, on my, my wow. podcast. Wow. So that was one of my, my high moments back in the beginning. And then I, it just kind of spiraled from there. I did, I've done probably over maybe 150 interviews with, with small bands and even some big names. Like I, I interviewed Young MC, does the song. Um, wow. Um, Bust a move. I yeah. interviewed him, <laughs> and I, also, I don't know if you've heard the song "Curly" uh, the, the uh, Cupid Shuffle. Yes. I interviewed the Cu- Cupid from Who Does the Cupid Shuffle. Wow. I reached out. I reached out to him after I saw him on The Voice. He was on The Voice one time, and I was like, "He's on Twitter. I wonder if I'll just message him on Twitter." So I messaged him on Twitter, and he got back to me, and <laughs> we were talking like about a week or two later. So mm. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's it's really amazing. Hmm. Why will you continue? Oh, because I, I enjoy doing podcasting, and, and kind of like I said earlier, I kind of slacked off, and I've just kind of been. Uh, dealing with family life and real life gets in the way kind of situation. And uh, probably in 2018, I'm going to get back into doing it more full time, setting up my equipment again. Cause right. I've been doing the last few years. I've just been doing a little handheld zoom recorder 
that I got a long time ago to do interviews and stuff, and I just do it in my car. So I'm probably going to set up my equipment again back in, set up my PC and, and uh, get back into doing full-blown music podcasting or just a variety type show I'm thinking about doing. I haven't decided yet, hey, but uh, that's one planning. a month. Give us one a month, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. Yeah, do that. Give us one a month, you know, so put a month yeah, and yeah. then get, uh, get once the bug even hits me more, go to two a month and three a month and four a month and yeah. who knows how many. Yeah. daily show. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You know, but definitely the quality can just, it could just be like a month, like 29 to 30 days filled with quality in on that one day right yeah. yeah yeah that'd be great yeah well tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years please um i've done djing i do a dj on the side and i do that uh as a as a supplement to my income i do djing for weddings karaoke i do uh, uh private parties in fact this past weekend i did a sweet 16 party <laughs> and i had to dj for these 16 year old high schoolers and uh, I, I enjoy doing that, and that's something I would continue to do in the future as well. Hmm. It also helps me be knowledgeable about music that's happening with current and also past music, and I get a, I have a wide, wide knowledge of music, and I enjoy all kinds of music, and I listen to pretty much any kind of music for that matter. Hmm. Why would you suggest someone that's listening do what you've done by not allow the dream to die? Hmm. I don't know what you mean by that, but not allow the dream to die as in... Well, you didn't so, give up, right? Like, oh, no, I didn't give up. You're yeah. Right? Okay. But I uh, I enjoyed doing what I enjoy. Music is something I enjoy, and that's why I kept at it because I enjoyed learning about new 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 bands, new artists, and uh, talking to them. And that's kind of if if you follow your passion like that. I my music is kind of one of my, one of my passions, as I as I did with the music podcast. It's a passion that I want to do, and I continue learning about music and playing music and letting other people know about music that I enjoy. At uh, one of my, one of the ways to do it is just continue doing what you feel is right for yourself. What's what's your passion? As I've heard from many people in the past, yeah. and then find your passion and and follow that. Hmm. That's Good what stuff. You to do. Pretty amazing stuff. Well, amazing audience, you're hearing it live here with Les Zalowski again, aka Les Zaldo. You could definitely check him out. The name of the podcast, it slips me. It's a Zaldo podcast, isn't it? Yes, Zaldor's World. Zaldor's so, World, uh, yeah. Fun stuff. A couple of, <laughs> yeah, a couple different uh, iterations of names. I go from Zaldor Unplugged, Zaldor World, Zaldor uh, Escapes or something like that. But right now, it's Zaldor's World is, is kind of like the, the focus of it all. Cool. Well, let's switch gears now, Les, and let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Nice. Les, what's your earliest childhood memory? Oh, geez. Probably <laughs> playing in the snow, I guess, kind of one of my early childhood memories when I was like about eight years old or six years old playing in the snow hmm. in Michigan when the snow was like taller than me. That's kind of one of my early childhood memories. Why do you think this memory is so clear? I don't know, because I hate snow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because it was a fun time digging digging trenches and digging digging uh, like tunnels in the snow, because it was kind of fun doing that, creating a own way to get through the, the snow. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. That's no, what I, I think of, because I, I don't like snow now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, forty years later. Yeah, no, I had so I had, I had like one lady on. I remember she gave that memory of tunneling through the snows, and she like loved it tremendously. And uh, you know, it spoke of the thing where, like, no one knew what was underneath it all. If you would, mm-hmm. it was just like this world that she created, and no one knew about it. But um, yeah, that was that. That could be make make a lot of sense because there's there's like in. Relating it to a video game that I like, I love a video game that I can go digging, like Minecraft, for example. I like digging in Minecraft. I don't know if you've played Minecraft, yeah. but I like going down and creating new tunnels in mean, Minecraft. So it's very similar to that. So I enjoy that that game. I don't play it all the time, but when I do, I like digging down. I don't use like big old building up. I like going down. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. That way. Yeah. We need to get the couch out. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the chair. Right. Um, if we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? Probably back then, I was probably still listening to uh, more more like rock and and stuff. It was in the early '80s, late late yeah, early '80s. So yeah. I, I probably was starting to get into some of some of the uh, less less rock and more uh, of the new wave stuff. I love the Cars back then, but I can't remember any Cars songs that were around in eight, like '82, '83. So 
Um, choose, choose one. I want, it's I because you have your profile, Jones. right? You, it's like you have yeah, like a, a million I, songs I in your mind, I, right? I, I want to say like Howard Jones because I was big into Howard Jones back then. What's the one 80s. song from Howard? Yeah. Um, like to get to know you well. That was one. Oh, I think that's you know, so. Yeah, let's put that one. Howard Jones, like to get to know you well. It's right, right. a good pleasure to get to know you as well. Well. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> Let's, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it'll be yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Les, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? No, I have not. Are you married? Yes, yes. Been married for almost four years. It'll be four years this summer. So you have your son. Um, do you have other children? Yeah, I have a stepson. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you believe in God? Um, I believe there's a higher power, but I don't I don't believe in specifically a like a specific God and do still you, undecided. All right. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yeah, I think I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Not so much anymore. I used to. I'm, I'm more on the internet longer than, 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 than TV. Yeah, so tell me about that. Tell me about yeah. screen time. More than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, probably more than eight considering I work at a computer during the day for my day job, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had one friend that said, hey, you should ask the question, what about windscreen time? <laughs> <laughs> windscreen time yeah, windscreen time yeah how, oh, how many okay. hours do you think you spend in windscreen time i was like okay that's intriguing because i do a couple hours well looking through my windscreen while driving right oh driving yeah okay it makes sense <laughs> Which, right okay. yeah <laughs> yeah i'm sorry windshield is what we call it here in the united oh, states oh cool cool windscreen. yeah we no, call it that, windscreen yeah. yeah i have one oh, friend that even calls it windscreen you know but yeah he's <laughs> yeah <laughs> It relates, it relates to a song that I, that, I, that I have from Depeche Mode called Flies on the Windscreen, so that's what I should think of that. Well, there we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Les, hey, if you had to share with us a statement that represents who you are, your own unique statement, what would you say that is? <laughs> that's a good one. Um, I don't know if I can answer that. I don't really don't know. Uh, I am a musical person, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have a statement that I, that I say, this is me. This is Les. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess the, the phrase that I got a while back was, this says, uh, this is Zaldor's world and you're just living in it. There we go. So I there think we you go. got there it. We go. Yeah. Well, Les, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? No, I think you well covered it there. I really enjoyed talking to you, Engel. Yeah, it was a great pleasure, my friend. Well, Les Zaleski, again, Les Zaldor. Like, I love the Zaldor song. I like uh, the way you say that. I might have to, have to clip that somehow. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you just call me. Right? My Les, podcast. Les Zaldor. <laughs> there you go. Hey. How about you? How about you say that? How about you say this is you listening to this is Les Zaldor, and you're listening to, or no, you're yeah. listening to Zaldor's world with Les Zaldor. You are listening to Zaldor's world with Les. Zaldo. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Now you gotta send that to me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Les, hey, this has been a great pleasure, my friend. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thanks, Angel. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com and for more information you can visit my website poemsbyag.com That's poemsbyag.com